Super Mario Odyssey is launching next week and we are all incredibly hyped. It is the biggest game left in the year for Nintendo and review scores are starting to trickle in. Last week we spoke about how Edge Magazine gave it a 10 out of 10. Mario Odyssey did receive a perfect score and now we have a second review coming in hot. Hello everybody, Gabe here and... Today I'm going to talk about the Famitsu score for Mario Odyssey. They gave it a 39 out of 40. That's right. And uh, for those of you that are not familiar with Famitsu, they do grade out of 40. And I will explain that here in a little bit. But first, some context. Here are the other scores for 3D Mario games from Famitsu. Shout out to Reddit, by the way. Uh, user uh, Method7 posted this and I thought it was super interesting. So I decided to make a video on it. Super Mario 64. 39 out of 40, exact same review score that Mario Odyssey has. Mario Sunshine, 38 out of 40. Mario Galaxy, 38 out of 40. Mario Galaxy 2, 37 out of 40. 3D Land, 38 out of 40. 3D World, another 38 out of 40. And Mario Odyssey, of course, with the 39 out of 40. So the lowest scored um, 2D I mean, 3D, excuse me, 3D uh, Mario game is Super Mario Galaxy with a 37 out of 40. And you might be asking yourself, those of you that are not familiar with Famitsu scores, you're like, Gabe, what does this 37 out of 40 mean, right? Uh, they do format their reviews a little bit differently. They use a cross review, quote unquote, uh, panel of uh, reviewers to actually get these reviews done. It's not one person playing these games. It's not like they decided, hey, let's just score it out of 40 points. That's not what's happening. What happens is they have four people. Each one of them gives a score of 0 to 10. So 10 indicating the best possible game. And the scores of the four reviewers are then added into having a, a maximum possible of 40. So if four people uh, played the game and everybody gave it a 10, then it gets a perfect 40. That's how that works. Uh, Famitsu does that. They've been doing it for a very long time now. So uh, it's a little bit of a weird structure for reviews, but it works for them. And uh, this means that... Uh, Odyssey having a 39 out of 40. That means that one person gave it a 9 out of 10 and the three other people that reviewed it all gave it 10 out of 10s. So still really, really good reviews. This still just counts as one review. It's not four separate reviews or anything of the sort. But Mario Odyssey getting super high praise from Famitsu plus the 10 out of 10 from Edge Magazine. It feels like we're in good hands here. The game is going to be awesome. And you can go read the reviews, but, you know, they are there. there's going to be a little bit of spoilers and reviews and things of that nature. And, you know, we have learned from you guys. Some of you guys are very sensitive to spoilers, so we're not going to talk about the review in detail here. But 39 out of 40, can't complain. Uh, to be honest, um, Famitsu gives 40 out of 40s to, like, some weird uh, games sometimes. So, you know, like all reviews, these are opinion. Take them with a grain of salt. All that good stuff. But Mario Odyssey trucking along, getting strong reviews is super, super awesome. And we can't wait. Like, I'm sure you guys can't wait. A week away at this point. This is a Tuesday. So uh, not, a, a little bit over a week so, till we're all playing Mario Odyssey. But it can't get here soon enough. I know we're all excited as well, you guys. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Are these uh, early positive reviews making you guys more excited? Uh, sound off. Uh, leave a comment, like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you're not subscribed, you guys are awesome, we love you, my name is blank, Switch Force, out.